Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builders. Supply in this video is to bring you a closer look at the Keydex number K-24L-26D. This is a large cylinder guard ring. Let's take a look at the guard portion first. L for large, and um, it's large in the sense that it's really, I think it's going to be used mostly to allow you to install longer cylinders onto otherwise uh, types of applications that don't require a long cylinder at all. But the uh, situation you're in is where you are using a long cylinder. And a perfect example of that would be a 7-pin uh, small format interchangeable core mortise cylinder housing and you're installing it into an aluminum storefront door. You're certainly going to need a long collar like this uh, because the um, math of the length of the cylinder that you need to have, let's say it's an inch and three quarter thick door and let's say you want to run the, and that lock is centered in the door and you want to run the cylinder almost to the center of the door. So inch and three quarter divided by two seven eighths, well inch and three quarter um, you know, divided by two seven eighths and maybe take off a sixteenth. So you really don't need a cylinder, you know, even longer than thirteen sixteenths for that type of application. Well, you can get a fifteen sixteenths or a one inch most likely is what would be used, but you even then still need a cylinder collar. Well, imagine if you have a cylinder co a cylinder mortise housing that's an inch and three eighths. Very typical. If you order a best seven pin uh, standard one E seven housing, it's inch and three eighths. That's the length of the brass body alone. If you order a Schlage 80 103, maybe is the part number, inch and three eighths, uh, you know, small format. So when you're using these longer cylinders, and they're longer because of the core that you're putting into them, uh, they can't get any shorter or the core won't fit. You need some way to protect the head of that cylinder, and the 24L is how you'll go about doing that. Let's take some basic dimensional properties. This is in 26D finish. Uh, Okay. It's not surprising that it would be made of steel, being a cylinder guard. It's tapered, as you can see here. The outside diameter at the base, which is not a real important dimension, but it's, there are times when you need to know that, 1.718. 1.718. You might want to know that to make sure it's going to fit onto your application. The inside dimension, 1.212. 1.212. Thickness, 0 0.888. 0 0.888 is the thickness. Then the dimension from the shoulder here down to the base. So we went from 0 0.888 0 0.529 so 0 0.529 0 0.529 just this dimension 0.529 so about a half of an inch so your inch and 3 8 cylinder less a half of an inch is 5 7 8 it's going to be perfect for your application. Uh, it's also going to include a wave washer and then a cylinder ring, just a collar. And those will serve, should you need them, to fit down in there. You will certainly use that cylinder wave washer in that scenario that I mentioned earlier. You'll use the wave washer. As you thread the cylinder in, the wave washer will compress and it will allow the cylinder guard to stay taut or tight on the face of the door. If you have an inch and a half cylinder, there you go. You're going to use this inserted ring whose thickness is 0 0.145, 0 0.145 thick. Okay. Now let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at some supporting documentation. Okay, here's the item that we are indeed looking at. First, let's take a look at the other finishes that we have listed here. Uh, 10 for satin bronze, 26 for polished uh, polished chrome, 26D satin chrome, the one that we are working on, 
three for polished brass, four for satin brass, A for powder coated aluminum, it would be a sprayed, you know, sort of paint, and then B for a dark brown or a duronautic type of powder coat paint. So back to the item that we are working on. When installed, these free spinning cylinder guard rings prevent would be burglars or intruders from forcibly unscrewing the lock cylinder with channel locks vice grips or other burglary tools that's a result of it being tapered so free spinning means that should someone try to put a pipe wrench or something onto the head of this collar with the intent of spinning the cylinder off the door it will be difficult because it's tapered and it will also work to retard that sort of effectiveness of that attack because it will just spin on the door Okay. You don't tighten the cylinder down like you would a nut, obviously, and that wave washer is going to keep that distance between the underside of the head of the cylinder and the back side of the cylinder guard ring itself, and it will free spin. You could put your thumb and index finger on one of these, and you can turn them, uh, and that's how that would work. Hardened steel free spinning taper, cone-shaped cylinder guard ring, protects mortise and rim cylinders for that matter, no doubt. Um, a rim cylinder application that would need such a long trim ring, you know, um, generally rim cylinders are not so long that they can't fit on your door, and I wouldn't normally see something like this on a rim cylinder uh, or used with one. However, you, you certainly could, um, but I would prefer that the rim cylinder be as close to the face of the door as possible. I wouldn't unnecessarily build it off the face of the door. The kit includes the hardened steel ring, the stainless steel wave washer, and then the spacing collar, they call it. Now, technical drawing is here. Let's take a look at that. Here's your L series down here. The dimensions that I've uh, given, I didn't give the inside dimension up here, but there it is, 1.35 inch. That will certainly fit the OD of the head of the mortise cylinder that you're going to going to put into it. Specification sheet. Okay, that's just a cut sheet from the manufacturer. Pretty handy. It's going to allow you to review the two different sizes and the different finishes and of course how it installs and what it looks like after it's installed. That same image here. Now there is a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page and that will allow you to review not only all of the Keydex products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the product catalog, which I just clicked on and waiting for it to load here. And while we continue to wait for it to load, we can talk about the um, other items that Keydex is very uh, infamous for, and that would be their weldable gate boxes. And this, key, this link to the weldable gate box um, is apparently a link to their site which is not working correctly. Gate products. We'll have to get that repaired. They have, I can tell you that they've updated their site and that's a reason why this is not their... They, they, <laughs> they have definitely rolled out a new website. Good for them. Um, gate boxes. Weldable uh, gate boxes. Click for full list of weldable gate boxes. Cross-reference. Lock manufacturer templates and instructions. So weldable gate boxes are listed here. It's all the same data from their old site, but nonetheless, uh, it is just simply updated. And a just scrolling through these, just I'm looking at one that's very typical. The name Keydex uh, is probably mostly known for weldable gate boxes. Now, their catalog has loaded, and as you scroll through here, you're going to be able to review all of those things uh, related uh, to uh, locksmithing, really. Uh, tools, accessory hardware, installation aids. Obviously, cylinder collars go hand-in-hand -hand with what a, a locksmith would do, as would be this set of change keys. If you're changing the combination on a safe lock, you need what's called a change key or key-changeable safe lock that will allow you to literally change the combination um, on a three- or four-ring um, safe uh, dial safe is what those are for. Cylinder guards here, obviously. Other uh, security hardware. 
Uh, door loops. They are very well known for armored door loops. If you need to pass low current voltage from the wall to the frame to the door to whatever, uh, they offer quarter inch, three eighths, lots of different colors, two different styles of end caps, this large one and then this more petite one. Kits uh, that can be assembled, bulk, you can buy it all in bulk as well. I've had a client that was doing a hundred doors at one time and bought several spools of the material with the separate mounting pads. Um, and as you continue to scroll through, this is like, this is a catalog that will allow you to understand how comprehensive of a product offering they have when it comes to these products. Then we get into the gate box area here. And why gate boxes are so common, because someone's building some sort of a barrier or fence, obviously a gate, and they wanna add lock sets to it. Well. It's just simply far less expensive to order the gate box and weld that into the structure rather than make your own. That's just why people will buy these. It's just a, it's really a cost and a time issue. Uh, plus these are made perfectly um, you know for the application. So this catalog is really handy and we've scrolled through almost all of it by this point. You can see that the gate boxes really um, take up quite a portion of the full product catalog. So, Speaking of gate boxes, this cross-reference table that's here, uh, that is handy because you can look up the lock that you're working on. Uh, and find a compatible gate box. So what I initially, I was typing in part numbers initially, and then I decided, since that was not working, to just search for Schlage. And you'll get to the area where Schlage starts, and then all the locks are listed here, and then all of the gate boxes are listed here. The different base materials, you might want aluminum. Uh, you might need that because you're building an aluminum gate. You get the point. All the lock manufacturers are on this page, and the compatible available gate boxes are there as well. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. Okay, the folks over at Keydex are a good group of people. I've called over there a couple of times, uh, to be sure, uh, just <laughs> this year alone, just for some technical support or guidance. And they're extremely agreeable, very helpful individuals who definitely participate as if they are part of the process of solving the problem. So if you have any questions on the K-24L in a 26D finish uh, or any other Keydex product, please feel free to reach out to us. You know, the cylinder guard ring is really a required piece of equipment because without it, you are presenting to a would-be intruder a very easy way to be able to, to enter the space. A wrench, you spin that cylinder off, you can then manipulate the lock with either a tool, if not your finger alone, uh, and being able to cover that area off. Uh, is, is uh, certainly where the cylinder guard ring comes in. I see this guard ring installed all the time on automatic sliding doors in applications in grocery stores when they have a seven pin small format system installed. It's exactly uh, what is used in terms of uh, that long mortise cylinder housing and then the thickness of the door where the lock is located, etc. Any questions on the Keydex K-24L-26D hardened cylinder guard ring or any other Keydex product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.